Here we have a couple of dirt cheap professional radio controlled drift cars. Check it out guys, what do you reckon? So it's four wheel drive, double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Chassis looks like fiberglass or carbon fiber. I don't know guys, if you know, let me know in the comments. Drift tires are definitely not supple. Loads of steering, coilover shocks, a lot of nice aluminium parts. And this version here comes with almost everything that you need to get this car to run. Also, you can get it as another kit that comes as the car only. And you have to put in your own electrics. I'm not going to bother telling you all the techno babble because I'll probably bore you and I'm probably going to get it completely wrong and all you professional drifting guys are going to give me hell in the comments. So I'm just going to give you a link down below for all the specifications, all the techno babble and where you can buy it from. And it's dirt cheap. Kind of. It is for a professional drift car anyway. So this video is sponsored by Fan Home, a brand dedicated to bringing you collectibles like Star Wars and Marvel and model kits like this Fast and Furious Dodge Charger which is fully licensed by Fast and Furious and a perfect replica of the real thing. So it's 1 8 scaled, it's got hinged windows, opening doors, boot and bonnet or trunk and hood for you Americans. It has many metal components and just check out the scale details of this. This is actually off the model, not off the real car. Look how realistic that looks. So how it works is every month you get sent some parts and some instructions. And then each pack comes with its own instructions of how to build it. Oh, just check out the quality of some of these parts, guys. This is made of metal. And the instructions are super simple. Oh, guys, that is gonna look epic. Here we got the wheels. Guys, this has got some weight to it, and just check out the detail of it all. Here's the grill. If you wanna get yours, head to fanhome.com. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description box. And for you early birds, you're gonna receive a free gift. Guys, I just cannot get over the quality of these parts and also the magazines and the instructions. So now, we're gonna get all this stuff here, we're gonna fit it, and then we're gonna take it out for a rip. Vinny's gonna come along and take this one away and build it with his own components. Next, we've got to fit the speed controller and the radio gear. So I'm going to use a Dumbo radio. These are dirt cheap, super fast, super responsive, and they've got a massively long range. And I use this radio on almost all of my other RC cars. And I want to put the receiver in there first, then the ESC in there afterwards. And I want to put the ESC as far this way as possible so we've got a bit of space in between the ESC and the motor. Because then, when we fit a big opinion for the gearing, we've got space to adjust it. So we've plugged the steering servo into channel one and the speed controller into channel two. Here's a sensor wire here that comes with a motor and that plugs into the back of the speed controller here. What that does, it makes the motor run a lot smoother. Next, we've got to tidy up all these cables. I want to shorten these motor wires here because they're so long, it's going to be messy. So we're going to cut them down a little bit. So if you look on the motor, underneath these terminals, you can see A, B and C. And then if you look at the speed controller, it's got it on there too. So you've got to make sure that A goes to A, B to B and C to C. If you mix them up, then it can catch fire. So here we go, and ready for action. So I've just noticed it's got a one-way front differential. So when it's on power, you've got four-wheel drive, and then when you put the brakes on, it only goes to the rear wheels. A bit like pulling up the handbrake or the e-brake. So I'm gonna run it on a free cell LiPo. I'm gonna put a link down below to the battery, or a similar battery if I can't find the exact same one, the receiver, the radio, and the car, and everything else that you see in this video. That's enough waffle, let's plug it in and give it a rip. So steering, not the fastest. I'm probably gonna upgrade it with one of these in the future. These are dirt cheap, super fast, super torquey. Link to this down below. And now for the power. That actually sounds pretty lively. Oh, check this out. That's the one way front differential still working. So these body posts, you can cut them down to make it a little bit neater. But I've got another body shell coming. You're gonna see that later on in this video. We're gonna fit the new body shell and then we're gonna cut these to suit the new body. Here we go, first test. So in a minute, Vinny is coming over with a brand new body shell, a lot cooler than this one. So we're gonna fit that. Vinny's gonna build his one. Vinny's also got a cool body shell. And then we're gonna build a little drift track. Oh, postman. It's Christmas every day. <laughs> so here we have a package from Asbo RC. We've got bodies, wheels, tires, intercoolers, exhaust pipes. If you wanna know where you can get them from, link down below. 
Right, right, it's, 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 Vin, it's Vinny's one. Nice, nice one. Come on. Crack, crack him open, him open, lads, lads. Oh, the iPhone audio got all messed up. But anyway, here is Vinny's kit. Vinny's going to take it home. He's going to put his own electrics into it. Vinny's going to take all the Asbo RC gear, paint up the bodies, bring them back, and then we're going to build a racetrack. Oh, check it out. Vinny has done a blinding job. So a quick montage, get this jalopy out, and then we're going to build a little track in here and have a little competition. Look at that, what a service. He's got a full vanity set in there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> pest control, isn't it? <laughs> You're the pest. <laughs> it smells, just smells like being in a nightclub. So next, we've got to build a racetrack. Is that a different up there or not? Uh, no, it looks a bit crap from up here. <laughs> we'll make it look good in the edges, huh? So Vinny's going to give it a quick test run with his one. Let's have a look. What you got going on in there then, dude? Surpass motor, quick run ESC, eco boost turbo. Oh, is it quick? Fly sky. All right, give it a whip. Probably going to be really lovely. Oh, your rear wheel drive? Yeah. Why? This for the past. Ah, so Vinny's rear wheel drive. So Vinny's front differential is broken, so he's only running rear wheel drive. Now it's my go, and mine has fully functional four-wheel drive. <laughs> Finny's go. Oh no, look! The exhaust has come off. That's really difficult on that surface, and now let's try the carpet. Oh, 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 Oh no, what happened? But your problem one way's gone. Oh! Oh, the tires come off. Alright, we're back. <laughs> Oh no, what happened? Ah, oh, did I break the axle? Yeah, drive shaft. Oh no, the bearing's gone. Oh, we can't play anymore. There you go, wow. present. You wow. can make two out of one. Oh, Quick monster truck update. We're waiting on parts. So the engine and gearbox should hopefully be here in the next few weeks. I've got to get some metal so I can finish off mounting the seat and the seat belts. I need to make some brackets to mount the steering. Got to get the pedals in. We've got to send the wheels away to get modified. So I've taken off one of the hubs to send it off with them to make sure that it fits. Basically, this hub doesn't fit inside the wheels. So we've got to get these wheels modified. So hopefully, we're going to get it running soon. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. Because look, only 30 65% of you guys watching these videos are actually subscribers. 64% of you are not subscribed. And subscribing is free. It's only one click of a button. And if you ever want to unsubscribe, you just click on the button again. So thanks to Asbo for the body and the wheels and the other stuff. Thanks to Banggood for the car. I'm going to put a link to all of that lot down below. But I want to get myself a better drift car. So guys, if any experts out there tell me what drift car should I get next. Anyway, click on one of these videos here and I will see you over there in a minute.